Hi, welcome back to another pen tip video. Today I'm going to show you how you can get for free these little metal shims that may be useful to clean the slit of a nib of your fountain pen or even to help to clean the channels of the feeds of your pens or to have a spacer between the tines whatever you need it for these kind of metal shims or these little sheets of metal are available in some stores that sell them for for pen repair and maintenance they are usually made of brass and they are large sheets this one is made of steel so they are attracted by magnets and they work you may say that brass will be better because it is a softer material yes maybe this one is steel and i will tell you where you can find these so where do i got where did i get them from here, I think you all know these kind of tabs that come inside many pieces of clothing. And these are the alarms for, for the clothing on your clothes stores. Then you cut these from your, your shirt or whatever. And I always keep them. And let's pick up my trusty Victorinox climber and take the scissors and I will show you how to extract one of those things from inside these. So, first you cut the, the, the fabric sleeve of that and you can rip this open. And here it is. The problem with this is that it is glued, so we'll have to be here trying to take the fabric off. But you will eventually do it and you will end with something like this. This is another one I have several around. This is black. Let me use a white one to be equal. So when you remove the old old fabric you'll get with something like this. It is sticky because of the glue and you can see that it has more than one me uh, metal layer inside. You just cut it open there on the top. This is all very sticky so it's not a very pleasant task to do and you will insert your scissors there on top and you can cut this all the way to the bottom. Hopefully you did not cut any of the metal sheets and here you can see them. There are three metal sheets inside. The first one or two firsts that come off and are not full of glue, they are very very soft. You see, it's like uh, aluminium foil that you can use in your kitchen. So I don't think these are really that helpful. And the one that it is really interesting is this one that is a little bit thicker. What happens now is that it's here, but it is stick to the sorry I was out of camera it is stick to the plastics and inside another plastic sleeve so we cut these out and we will try to open these this part is not that pleasant to do because as I told you this is all very very sticky so you may try 
took it around. I'm not sure how the camera is focusing this. You can cut these and then you can get to the point where you have your metal thing loose. I don't have it loose yet. So I didn't tell you this was easy. I just told you it was for free. Actually you have to buy the shirt or whatever thing this comes with. So you need a lot of patience and maybe bigger fingernails. And you will eventually release this metal strip. Okay, in this side it comes all clean, but usually the other side that still has that stupid plastic will be a little harder to peel. Okay, we are almost there. I think when you see all the trouble this is, you will not want to try this at home. Okay, you see, now you just need to keep peeling these off until you have your metal sheet free. This usually takes about maybe 15 minutes or something like that to do. But you eventually get this little thin metal strip and doing this uh, underneath the camera is a little bit harder but you can do it and ju you'll just be left with this very sticky surface. Then what do I do when I have these free? They are full of that sticky glue. What I usually do is I take my lighter fluid that is very inexpensive and you can get in every store and uh, any store that sells cigarettes or something like that they usually sell the lighter fluid and the lighter fluid is very good because it will clean very easily all these uh, glue residues you just need to soak these well and then you rinse with your fingers you get your fingers smelling like uh, gasoline or something like that but you just do like this and you will rub off all that gunky thing and then you have a handful of these little shim um, things just to so far, in my experience, I didn't find any use for the two loose and uh, very flexible ones. I just usually uh, keep the thicker ones. So, this is the way you can get those things. I hope you enjoyed. It will take some work, but if you have some free time, it is a way of getting those for free. They may be very useful if you are repairing pens. So with very few tools, you just need the scissors and the little alarm things and you are good to go. So this is all for today. I hope to see you soon. Bye.